Hey Virgo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. This is a tarot love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and those of you dealing with a Virgo romantically, it's a timeless reading today, Virgo. Whenever you click into the video is when you're meant to hear the messages. It is also a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Please take what works and let go of anything that doesn't fit for you and your circumstances. Let's see what's coming toward Virgo in love. First card out is some big, big energy today, Virgo. So we're starting out with the death card. This is not representing a literal death. This is representing the ending of something and a new beginning. So what this tells me is that there is some significant energy right now about a transformation that you're experiencing related to your love life. Something is ending, okay? And it's paving the way for a new experience. Could it be that some of you are ending a relationship or have recently ended a relationship? Yes, that is possible. The death card could also represent the ending of something that is no longer helpful. It could be letting go of negative beliefs, negative thoughts about ourselves, letting go of negative or unhelpful circumstances in our lives. So there's lots of different ways that this can play out, but essentially what I see here is that there's gonna be a very transformative energy surrounding your love life. I could also see somebody coming to you and uh, transforming your life. The death card can represent the energy of somebody coming in where you feel like the love that the two of you have is a very transformative experience. So we're going to have to see where this goes. Tell me more, please. Tell me more about what's coming toward Virgo right now. Good. This is actually very, very, very good, Virgo. Why? I always say to you, what comes after the death card? What comes after the tower card? When we have a big energy of change and transformation, I wanna know what comes next. So this is a really good indicator to me that after whatever this ending is happens, you are feeling really good, okay? So the six of wands is about victory and success. And I feel like after whatever ends here, you're gonna feel good, you're gonna feel happy, you're gonna feel a sense of relief, and it's moving you in a really positive direction here. Some of you, if you are single, could be meeting a new person within the workplace. Let's get one more card about what's coming toward Virgo. And then the Knight of Wands, okay? Obviously, you've got this fire energy charging into your life, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I see that whatever this ending is, and again, it's a general reading, you guys, so you have to just apply it how it fits with your life, okay? Something ends, and whatever it is that ends, whether it's a relationship, you know, a negative circumstance, a negative way of thinking, it really propels you forward right now when it comes to love. All of a sudden, it's like there's passion, there's fireworks, there's chemistry, there's desire, there's all this really beautiful stuff that's going on here. And so I think you should trust that whatever it is that's leaving your life right now, it's creating space for this very passionate and very loving energy to be coming in. So what I wanna do for the rest of the reading is look more into what is going on with this passionate energy charging into your life. So we're gonna look at this person. It could be your current person, could be new love coming in. We're gonna find out a little bit about their general energy, what they're feeling and what actions they're taking. And then we're gonna look at the same thing for you, Virgo. And then we are going to uh, pull some potential outcome here about the situation, okay? So let's see what's going on. I've got my little kitty cat just in the background here if she decides to come and say hello. So tell me about this person that Virgo is dealing with right now, please. Beautiful. We got the justice card. This is Libra energy. Whoever it is that you're dealing with right now, I think they bring a beautiful sense of balance into your life. They are very diplomatic. They're good at looking situations, uh, looking at situations from different perspectives. Probably a very strong communicator, very good at conflict resolution, all that kind of stuff. Now, they could work in the legal profession. They could be a lawyer. They could be a judge. They could be somebody who... Um, uh, is a legal administrative assistant, a police officer, anybody who really works within the legal field. That's the kind of energy that I'm picking up on here. Tell me more, please, about this person who's here for Virgo. That's gorgeous, you guys. Okay, three of pentacles. So they're giving major best friend vibes. I'm just gonna say here that whoever this person is, they are very supportive of you. And so this is how you're gonna recognize this kind of energy. Um, you're going to recognize this person because you're gonna feel very supported by them, very loved, very nurtured, very cared for. And this is somebody who really lifts you up. 
somebody where when you share your dreams and your goals and everything that you want in life, they're very supportive of that and they're going to do things to help you accomplish that. So it's a really beautiful energy here. If you're not already with this person, they could be coming into your life through a friend of a friend. You could be meeting them at a party, all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Tell me more, please, for this person. And then the Page of Swords, gorgeous. Um, they are very interested in you, very curious about you, uh, asking a lot of questions. I'm definitely getting the vibe that whoever this person is, they're quite intellectual. So you might find that you have a very strong intellectual connection between you and this person initially. That could be what draws you together. But their overall energy is just feeling like very focused on you, very supportive, very balanced, and it's going to feel very good when you're connecting with this person. Tell me what they're feeling right now, please. Nine of Wands. I love that. So this is somebody who has a lot of willpower and determination, and this is somebody who doesn't give up easily. I'm going to say for some of you that I'm getting major vibes that this person is pursuing you and maybe initially you're not really sure if you want to go for it. Maybe you, you know, turn them down a couple of times, reject their advances, but I feel like this person cannot be deterred. They keep pursuing you. They keep letting you know that they're interested because this is somebody who doesn't give up on what they want. I can also see here with the nine of wands that this represents the energy of somebody who has had some life experiences. They've gone through some stuff, right? We've got the nine wands. Those wands represent the ups and downs of love, the good moments, the challenging moments. And so what you're getting here within a partner is somebody who has some life experience here, which is going to be really valuable because they're going to take the lessons that they've learned and bring that into the connection between the two of you. What else is this person feeling right now? seven of cups interesting so there's something that's causing them to feel a little bit confused here emotionally let's get one more card and then we're going to clarify that virgo and then the hanged man interesting so this is a bit of a, a deviation from what we've seen so far it's like they're coming in and they're pursuing them but then emotionally it looks like there's something that's going to happen around this time that leaves them feeling a little bit stuck so this might actually be interesting in terms of how it plays out because how you might experience this energy, Virgo, is that they're very much pursuing you. They're very much coming towards you. They don't take no as an answer. They're letting you know they're interested. But then you might have a moment where you feel emotionally like they all of a sudden pull back. So tell me more about this energy, please. Tell me more about this person's energy here. What's going on? The Two of Cups. They could be scared about how intense their feelings are. They could be scared about moving too quickly and how quickly they're falling in love. Tell me more, please. The nine of pentacles. <laughs> For some of them, they're like, am I ready to give up the single life? Tell me more, please. And then the ace of pentacles. Okay. I, I don't think this is a bad thing, you guys. So like I said, there might be a moment where emotionally they pull back a little bit around the time of whenever you're watching this reading. So there's a couple of things that I see are going on here that contribute to that energetic pullback. The first one is that they could be a little bit like scared by how quickly things are moving because in the overall energy, we saw the Knight of Wands. You can see this clearly, Virgo. This is very much an action oriented energy charging forward and going after what you want. And so things might move quite quickly between you and this person. It might end up scaring them a little bit where they're like, I am developing these feelings so quickly. Maybe we need to slow things down. Now, the other thing I see with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is this person, I will say for some of you, they may not have necessarily even been looking for love. They may have just been focusing on themselves, living their best life, maybe working on their career with that Ace of Pentacles. And now that there's this connection here with you, they may have not expected it. So they're like trying to catch up. <laughs> it's like their feelings are a million miles ahead and they're like, I didn't expect this. I was just focusing on my life. I wasn't even looking for a partner, but I think things are shifting quite dramatically now because obviously the two of you are connecting. Now, I will also say here, I feel the energy of a potential divorce or separation for your person, like that death card that came out first within your reading Virgo, maybe it could be for your person that they're going through a divorce or separation, could be you as well, but in this case, we're looking at your person. And so what's happening is that the two of you are connecting, 
But if there has been some sort of big ending for your person recently, like a divorce, it could be that they're evaluating like, oh my gosh, am I ready? Am I emotionally ready to give myself to another relationship? Am I emotionally ready to get into that level of commitment? They may have gone through a divorce and thought I'm going to be single for a while and then they met you and all those plans have gone out the window. So that's the kind of vibe that I'm feeling there. So if that's going on, I think it just warrants a conversation between you and your person about that, okay? So let's see what actions they're taking. Five of Swords. There's some drama in their life that they're disconnecting from. Okay, yeah. I mean, the more I get into this, the more I'm feeling like your person might have some drama, drama with an ex. Um, ex-partner, somebody who they've divorced from, somebody who they're going through a divorce from. Five of Swords, I always say to you, Virgo, Virgo, it's like drama, 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 right? And so I feel like there is some negative energy and that could be why they're pulling back as well. Let's say that they're dealing with some challenges related to their ex. There's custody issues, there's financial issues, whatever it is, they might pull back a little bit to focus their energy on trying to deal with whatever that issue is. So as we get into it, it's like, I don't think they're really pulling back emotionally because they're concerned about their feelings for you. I think there's other stuff going on that they've also got to manage right now within their life. So they might need a little bit of space to manage that. My sense is once they have managed it, they will be focusing their attention back on you. But let's get two more cards for what actions they're taking. Yeah, good. I'm getting a very, very strong energy of reassurance here, okay? So we got the Five of Swords followed by the Page of Cups. So if they are pulling back emotionally, if they feel distracted, if they are not coming towards you consistently, I think that they're gonna come back around and be like, Virgo, this is why. Like I said, dealing with the ex, dealing with some sort of financial situation with the ex, dealing with whatever issues they've got going on. I think they're gonna be coming to you and being like, I know it's a lot, I know I've got some stuff going on, but I want to reassure you that I am here for you, I'm super into you, I'm super interested in you. And I honestly think this is a really important energy because if they had not come in and reassured you, I think it would have been anxiety producing for you, Virgo, that's my sense. But I think that, yeah, you might feel them pull back, but I think very quickly they're gonna do something here to reassure you. Let's get one more card about the actions that they're taking. The Nine of Cups, beautiful, yeah. I mean, they're just trying to move forward. They're trying to be happy, have fun with you, enjoy the connection. And I think they're, like my sense is that they're really trying to focus on the future. I really do think they're leaving behind some sort of challenging situation they've gone through and they're still kind of dealing with it right now, Virgo. This is why we look at the energy, right? Because it can give you a sense of what they're going through. So I think they're still going through some stuff right now, but it's short term. It's going to be wrapped up soon. This doesn't feel like it's going on forever. And once it gets wrapped up, the two of you can go back to the business of just like being in love and building this beautiful connection, okay? So let's look at you. Let's look at Virgo, please. <laughs> okay. So the first card out for you is the five of wands. You're obviously feeling some sort of inner conflict about this situation. I mean, for you as well, something could have ended in your life recently, obviously with the death card as your first card. And you might also be feeling conflicted about how quickly your feelings are developing and how quickly things are moving forward. I could definitely see, you know how I said for some of you, your person might be going through a divorce. You might be looking at that and being like, so like overthinking it a little bit and being like, should I be dating someone who recently got divorced? Are they ready? Can they give me what I want? So there's a little bit of internal conflict that could be coming up. Tell me more please for Virgo. Eight of cups. <laughs> oh, I mean, there is a little part of you that's thinking about walking away you might know that this person has some drama with their ex and you might be like, as much as I like you, I don't wanna be part of any drama. So as much as there's feelings here, you're definitely gonna be feeling conflicted about what to do. Okay, let's get one more for your general energy, please. Three of cups. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna to go to your friends for advice, okay? So here's what's gonna happen, Virgo, all right? You meet this person, there's obviously a very strong attraction and pull toward each other. But you're a little bit nervous because they've recently, like I said, gone through a divorce or separation. Maybe you've recently gone through a divorce or separation or breakup, whatever it is. There's a big energy of both of you going through change. And you're wondering, like, is this the right time for us to start something up together? So I see you going to your friends and being like, I'm kind of conflicted about what to do here because I have very strong feelings for this person, but 
either they or you or both of you are going through some big changes and I don't know if this is the right time for us to be together. So I think you're going to be going to your friends and trying to get some advice about what to do in this situation. So what is Virgo feeling? Let's see. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're scared. You're scared of going all in on this person and having it not work out. I got a very specific message coming to mind. It's not for all of you, but I'm going to say it because whenever I say these messages, there's always at least one person who connects with it. Okay. You can let me know in the comments right away. When I pulled the five of pentacles, I picked up on somebody where in the past you may have been with somebody and maybe you started dating them after they recently went through a breakup and the two of you were dating and they ended up going back to their ex. Okay. I know you guys, it's specific. It's not for all of you, but I see that some of you are potentially scared here because you're like, is it too new? Is it too fresh? Could they potentially go back with their ex? That's what's making you feel nervous here. And there's some fear showing up in your emotions. Tell me more about what Virgo is feeling. Yeah. Okay. The devil you're worried here, right? Do they, what I'm getting is you thinking do they have the emotional capacity to commit to me? And for those of you who are maybe going through a divorce or separation or breakup, like you might also be wondering, am I in a healthy enough place to emotionally give myself to a new relationship? You've definitely got some fears and concerns showing up here. Tell me more about what Virgo is feeling and the star card. Okay. But you are trying to be hopeful and optimistic. But I will say your energy is feeling quite anxious to me, Virgo, in terms of this connection. And I think it's just because there is that intensity. You're obviously quite drawn toward this person, but you have a lot of fear around what they're going through, what you're going through, and how all of these external circumstances might end up impacting the potential future between the two of you. So what actions are you taking? Queen of Pentacles, that's good, you guys. I think you're working to create stability within this connection. Tell me more about what actions Virgo is taking. Ten of Pentacles, more Pentacles energy. I think you're trying to get really grounded and stable because like I said, your energy feels anxious and emotional, understandably, but I think you're trying to bring a bit more stability into this and be like, I don't want to look at this from like a purely emotional perspective. I want to like get grounded and really like logically look at what's happening here. I do see that you're looking for somebody to set down roots with and build a family with. That's ultimately what you're looking for here, Virgo. Okay. And you're just like trying to figure out, should the two of you give it a shot? So let's get one more card for what actions Virgo is taking. <laughs> Good. I see this as you kind of shifting your perspective and trying to focus on the positive and focus on the passion between you and your person. I mean, the actions you're taking with the two queens and the ten of pentacles, it feels like you're trying to really approach this from a mature perspective, looking at it from different angles, looking at it from a long term perspective. And I feel like that might help you actually, as I say that Virgo, because I think when you look at this purely in the short term, there is some challenge, right? You're going through something, your person's going through something. And so short term, there could be a little bit of tension. And I feel like that's uncomfortable for you. But if you look at it long term, I feel like the tension that's happening right now is short lived. I don't think it's going to go on forever. So it's like if you can just kind of focus on getting through whatever's happening right now and know that it's going to end like, you know, your person's dealing with challenges with their ex, that's probably not going to go on forever. So if you can kind of navigate this short term uh, tension, I feel like long term you realize there's something here. And that might be what allows you to kind of stick it out and see how things go. So moment of truth here, Virgo, let's look at the potential outcome here in this situation. My loves, my loves, you're still up in your head. You're still feeling anxious about this. Okay. Okay. I get it. I gotcha. Uh, let's see what else here. Holy shit. The tower. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's get one more. We always got to see what did I say at the start of your reading? I always want to know what comes after the death card. What comes after the tower? Let's see here. Let's see. Tell me what's going on. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's going to work out, but I think it's going to feel messy. So let me explain what I think is going on here. What I honestly see happening, and you know, I keep it real with you, Virgo. In the outcome here, I see your anxieties getting the best of you with that nine of swords getting super anxious and 
Unfortunately, those anxieties could lead to a tower moment, okay? Those anxieties could lead to you completely pulling back, withdrawing, you know, kind of shaking things up. Like, I would not be surprised with this outcome here if you end up getting like really anxious one day and then you go to your person and you're like, I can't do this, we can't be together, right? That's the kind of vibe. And so you might end up saying to them, like, I just, I can't, and you like break up with them or whatever. But I feel like the fact that there's the seven of pentacles tells me that there's still something here between the two of you that can blossom, okay? So this might be one of those situations where because of what's going on right now, maybe the two of you decide like, let's take a bit of a break and let's like each of us sort out our lives and what we've got going on. And then my sense here, honestly, Virgo, is once things calm down for your person and for you, I could see the two of you coming back together when it's a little bit of that calmer waters kind of energy, okay? But I do see there could be a little bit of time apart, a little bit of a, a break where you're like, you deal with your divorce stuff, I'm gonna deal with my divorce stuff or whatever it is. But I, my sense is you find your way back to each other, but there could be a break in between while each of you are dealing with the stuff you're going through. That's what I see here. But I do feel the Seven of Pentacles is telling me that there is the potential for this connection to grow into something beautiful. But I think you guys are gonna to have to be a little bit patient with the process because there is that other stuff going on that each of you might have to focus on right now. So this might be the time to focus on that other stuff, resolve it, clear it up and move forward. And once you've been able to do that, then I, I, feel, I feel you're gonna come back together. But like I said, I feel like there's gonna be a period of separation in between. So that's what I see there, you guys. Uh, like I said, take it or leave it if it connects with you. If you enjoyed this reading, do me a solid, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, I do offer those through Etsy. They are not video readings, they are written readings, but if you are interested, the link is in the description box below this video. And of course, I wish you so much love and so much happiness, and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.